Hello, my name is Sarah. I am a pre-med at Charleston State University and I'm also a CNA or Certified Nurse's Assistant. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to manually take blood pressure. Before we start, I'm going to give you a warning. You should only like perform your reading twice and then you need to stop and take a 10 minute break in between so that you don't damage your nerves and the arm. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find a good artery to line up your blood pressure cuff with. There's usually a good one right at your elbow, this right here, the blue. So you want your systolic number to be between 130 and 110, but your normal should be at around 120, and your diastolic, which is the bottom number, should be 70 to 50, but you want to be at 60. This is our lovely patient, my sister. I'm going to be lining up the pressure cuff with this vein right here. Your outside arrow to be lined up as close as you can to that vein. So, here's your blood pressure cuff. And since I'm doing it on her right arm, I'm going to use this one. <laughs> so you're going to want to put the cuff on where you can comfortably fit two fingers underneath. You're then going to put the big side of the stethoscope onto the vein, or the artery, sorry. Then you're gonna tighten it all the way. So turn it to the right all the way till it stops. Then you're gonna pump it all the way until 170. You should be able to hear a heartbeat. Sometimes you can actually see your heartbeat on the sphygmomanometer. So we're gonna do it one more time. You see it? Thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you understand how to take blood pressure manually.